it loops and it loops, but it's still freaking awesome every time it comes back. Hey guys, so here is another one of my great digital film festival 2016 reviews for Looper. Looper is one of my favorite movies of all time. It was my favorite film of 2012. There's a reason why it's on the wall here. Looper was a film that came out in 2012 and it was directed by Reen Johnson. Reen Johnson, who is also directing the next episode of Star Wars. Least to say from this film alone, I am super freaking psyched because how awesome this film is. Now, if you guys have never seen this, this is a Mondo R Blu-ray and I will talk more about it after the review. Looper is about Joseph Gordon-Levitt, a Joseph Gordon-Levitt who you will never see again because that's prosthetic on his face. Really, really, really well done prosthetic. JGL in this film is a hitman, basically in the sense that he kills people who arrive from the future. They are sent back by the mob who are the only ones who control time travel, obviously, because it's been illegalized. And they send these people back, they have them killed, and they dispose of the body because they're disposing of a person who's never existed before. And it's the perfect way to take care of someone. But then his older self, played by Bruce Willis, is sent back and he doesn't kill him, he messes up. And what happens is Bruce Willis is on a vendetta to basically save his wife. Because in the future, there is this someone called the Rainmaker who is causing absolute chaos and just killing off the Loopers. So while Bruce Willis is trying to find the Rainmaker in the past, JGL is basically trying to secure his future by trying to hunt down Bruce Willis and stop him so that he's his life in the present is not screwed up. It's a time travel movie and most time travel films definitely have a lot of yeah to them and there are some issues to this film that are pretty much time paradoxical but here's my defense for this. For Terminator, how the hell does John Connor exist in the future if the only way that he exists is that Kyle Reese is sent back in time to inseminate his mother, not Kyle Reese's mother, John Connor's mother. So there's my defense for this. Otherwise, this film. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the world building. I love films that have very subtle but really cool world building. The design on the cars, the design of people's clothing, which is kind of a mix of current day 90s and a little bit of the future. And also the way that people use guns. The guns are all outdated. They're old versions. They're not super high tech. They all, like they all, they almost got Western sort of vibe. I love its noir sort of style. It's crime driven sort of style. And the, the film itself, I am a sucker for bloody, freaking time travel films. Also, also, this was the film that made me believe that Emily Blunt was a really good actress. I know she had done something called The Young Victoria, but I'd never seen it, and I saw that she was in some chick flicks or something before, but seeing her in this, I was like, yep, she's freaking awesome. And she proved it a few years later with Edge of Tomorrow, which was also awesome. I like this movie for so many reasons, and I love its story, I love the characters, I love Bruce Willis's character. Because of who he is to Joe, both future and present. Now he says to his present self, don't be selfish, that's all you are, you're a spoiled brat who wants everything his way and all he cares about is what he wants. When in fact, when in fact he, he himself is doing something which he believes is right, but he's actually doing it for himself and he's killing freaking children and it's terribly morbid but it's so multifaceted that it's incredible to watch and I love how it ends I think it's a fantastic ending I know that there's a few ways that people can you can turn it around I know how it should have ended did it but I like how it works I like that in the end he does something that isn't for himself he does the most unselfish thing that you could think of and that's what I like about the entirety of this film. I like the character's arc. I love how much thought went into the entire story. I love the humor. The humor is very good in it. And I think that all the characters in this film are phenomenal. And I love Looper. And I love it every time I watch it. And get to, getting to see it on the big screen again was amazing. So I might get a bit of flack here, but I'm going to give Looper a 7 out of 7. I like this movie a lot. Here's my thing to say how much I liked it. I saw Dark Knight Rises six times that same year, and I liked Looper more. 
Now to talk about this Blu-ray, this Blu-ray is sweet, people, because look at little Bruce Willis there. Oh, right here, see? Now watch this. That's sweet, right? And then just the art itself, the multi-design of the faces, the inner cutting, like basically the back and forth of time. And then Bruce Willis on the back here too. The uh, Blu-rays themselves, they're clocks. Old little hand clocks, and I love this. I, I love the design of this. This is one of the, my favorite Blu-rays I've ever bought. Now, what's really funny is this thing was worth a super a lot of money for the longest time, and then Black Friday last year, Best Buy had it for five bucks, and I was like, are you kidding me? So I bought it instantly, and I've never regretted it. This is one of my favorite films of all time, people. I'm never going to deny that. It is amazing. If you've never seen it, do watch it. There's not a lot of people who super duper love this movie, as was evident when Sean and I went and saw Looper. We were the only two people in the theater, and we obviously, it was just us two for the trivia. So I won a Black Sabbath CD? That's pretty cool. Anyway, that's all for me, guys. And the last review is Inception, which is funny because I've never done an Inception review. That'll be interesting. And that's it. So one more review after this, and then we're done. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed these reviews, and please do tune in for the last one. It's going to be good, as I can do. Anyway, that's all for me. I'll see you later.